Hi, I'm Lisa Avery, LBCC president, and I am here this afternoon at Lebanon High School with Jacob Johnson. Jacob is an LBCC graduate, and I'm gonna ask him some questions. We're gonna mix it up a little bit. Maybe he'll ask me a couple of things that we're gonna talk about real futures, his past, his present and future, and what he thinks about college, high school, and all things agriculture. So welcome, thanks for being with us. Thank you. All right, so tell me your LB story, if you would. You were a roadrunner, beep, beep. Uh, yes. Tell us a little bit about uh, what you studied at LB. Well, I went to LBCC to study animal science. So that was kind of my plan to go, you know, all through college with uh, an animal science degree. Uh, one of the big draws for LBCC was that program and just everything good I'd heard about it, as well as I was part of the LBCC livestock judging team which gave me a lot of opportunities in college and beyond and so that was just a wonderful opportunity to be able to go there for that as well. Okay, do you come from a farming family and you have this in your background? Well, I participated in 4-H and FFA growing up and that would be more where my background came from. You know, we had a small, you know, harvey farm, some sheep, some goats, that sort of thing. But growing up in 4-H and FFA was really kind of what drew me into that program. Okay, and how did it work for you at LBCC in the livestock judging? Tell us a little bit about that. That was an awesome experience. So one of the things I really appreciated about it was right at the start going into college, I had a wonderful community around me. I mean, LBCC already uh, being the community college, I appreciated you know, the classes, having that community, uh, kind of that direct relationship with instructors. But then also being in that program uh, gave me that even tighter knit community of my judging team and my coaches and so it offered some wonderful connections as well as a fantastic learning experience being able to learn more about uh, livestock, livestock selection, management, all that. Okay, so let's shift gears a little bit yeah. from LB extracurriculars and talk about classes. You mm -hmm. were in our Ag Sciences program. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about how, uh, what the learning was like and how you use that today in your job. Okay. So, kind of like I had mentioned, one of the things I really appreciated was at LBCC with the way classes are structured and the class sizes, I just feel like there was more opportunity for us to really uh, get deeper involved in the material, more hands-on experience. I know that one of my favorite classes that I took was actually the uh, artificial insemination course uh, that uh, Weber offered. And we got to travel out, practice, and so just having those opportunities, I feel like is something that was definitely unique to the program. Uh, so we got a lot of different opportunities, being able to travel and go outside the school, but also just, I feel like the classes were really tight knit. It was a wonderful sense of community and all the classes throughout the school. So awesome. I really appreciate that. Tell us about your day job that you do now. Mm -hmm. And if you can link that back to what you learned at LB. Oh, yeah, definitely. So I am now an ag teacher. So I work in agriculture education. I'm one of three ag teachers here at Lebanon High School. So we have one teacher that focuses more on the animal science side, one on horticulture, and then I focus on power structure and technol technological systems. So that's mostly you know, the welding, the small engines, uh, more of that side of things, kind of your traditional shop courses. Uh, but being part of the agricultural program, uh, we tie a lot of that back to um, ag as a whole, as an industry. So we're really kind of focusing on giving students those career skills to be able to go pursue any career in agriculture or in trades as a whole. Talk to us, Jacob, a little bit about students who might not be interested in college because enrollment's mm -hmm. down right now mm -hmm. and a lot of students are opting out of higher ed altogether. What advice do you have for those students as they ponder their future? I think for some there has been this stigma of going and getting a college degree and they think of some of the higher ed degrees that you know may not be as applicable, right? And they immediately jump to the idea of, you know, if they want to go into a trade or something like that, that you know they can either just get on the job learning or um, have opportunities such as those. And I don't think some of them see the opportunity that's available at schools like LBCC to learn those skills and get you know, an associate's degree or get a certificate in any of those programs and being able to enter the workforce with those skills and abilities and how many more doors that opens. Teachers probably don't get as much spare time as they might like, but what, what's fun for you? Spare time, so yeah, what, what, what is, is, what is, what spare, is time? spare time? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the question. 
Uh, so right now, actually, my wife and I just uh, got our first house. Excellent. So a lot of my time outside of school has been taken up with uh, housework, kind of, you know, just trying to improve on that. So that's been a lot of my spare time lately, uh, as well as we're preparing for our, our first kid. So there's been lots of my uh, extra time, we'll say, dedicated to that. Uh, for fun, I like to do uh, a little bit of fishing, some hiking, hunting when I can. Okay, now, you have a question for me? So with, with students coming out of high school, mm -hmm. uh, what would you say their, their biggest opportunities are going to LBCC or a similar school? I think right now one of the big opportunities for students is to get shorter term certificates and credentials mm -hmm. that's going to help them get to work quickly. Mm -hmm. you know, we've talked about diesel a little mm -hmm. bit, that's a couple years in mm -hmm. the program, but we're starting a commercial driver's license. And now there's a minimum age because we want mm -hmm. folks to be old enough to be behind the wheel of the semi. Yeah. But <laughs> a lot of the others like phlebotomy, mm -hmm. you know, they have huge signing bonuses for students right now, that's 15 weeks, mm -hmm. and they can do that and get to work. So I think that we've tried to be more flexible and nimble and responsive and letting students do more of their work um, on their time schedule. That's one of the things that we've learned from the pandemic is people want to try to mix and match a little bit and do things at their convenience. We still are offering most of everything in person because we think that that's like you here in the K-12 mm -hmm. world. That's really where the magic happens, right? Mm -hmm. Between students and instructors. But we are allowing students to do as much of the extra stuff as they can online to make school more convenient. What do you like to do in your, your free time? Ooh. I also don't have a lot of free time, yeah. <laughs> but I have a family too, so I spend time with my family. I love uh, biking, mm -hmm. so I've spent a lot of time biking around Lynn County. I have to confess that I've biked more of the flat parts of Lynn County. Mm -hmm. East Lynn County is a little hillier, so I'm not sure that I'm that brave but or that crazy, but I plan <laughs> to spend some time uh, on the roads here around Lebanon this summer. I've been checking out how many of the covered bridges that I can cross over. Um, caught nice. five or six last summer in Sayo, the rainiest day of the summer. I was out and <laughs> it was a supported bike ride, so I got very, very soaked, but it was an amazing and beautiful day. The, be the good thing was I didn't get too warm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to thank you so much for your mm -hmm. time and, and also just, again, um, appreciate you sharing not just about LBCC, but doing all that you can to stay in public school teaching. I know it's yeah. been a tough time and, and we want to make sure that students in our counties have outstanding teachers who are dedicated to them, to the profession, and really understand the content that they're coming from. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Take care. It's a pleasure, yes.